Hey there, this is Yoshi. Uh, this is another Spider Farmer uh, Grow Light SF600 update. Uh, I think it's video number 10 or 11 or something like that. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, it's been quite a journey for this one. Uh, the Spider Farmer provided me this Grow Light. Uh, their uh, slogan is uh, the light that provide uh, everything vegetable need and I have to say indeed because uh, compared to the first time the light came there are a lot of changes right uh, I think I review uh, kind of review that last week but things are going on um, this one I have to confirm that this is a spike coming from Dendrobium antenatum um, I don't do well with the dendrobiums, uh, especially the warmer kind, warmer growing ones, antenatums is it. Uh, the temperature in the greenhouse is like somewhere from uh, 62, well, I bumped up the uh, temp uh, temperature this year. So it is warmer this year, uh, but uh, last couple of years I've been running from like somewhere from 55 to like 65 or something like that and now this year uh, yeah going up from 65 to up to so uh, that's uh, something to compare to but at least uh, in here it's a 68 degree right now and uh, the biggest problem with me in the grow uh, growing in indoor is the lack of a right light so that's why this one the spider farmer i'm hoping to hear the change um anyhow uh, i want to take a look at this cattleya violacea look at that and this is not a growing season so Happy camper right here rooting a lot um, and so has dendrobium antenatum it's probably that's probably the uh, uh, sorry <laughs> my wife is still coughing in the back um, whatever she had she's not really sick sick but the throat is something wrong with it anyhow um, yeah uh, that might be the uh, problem with it that, that it's not rooting well in a greenhouse because it's cold maybe but of course the, uh, it's always uh, raining out there so not much light I took out the shading net but of course that's sometimes just not enough I guess I forgot to tell you what this one is this is a uh, uh, Potinara Love Avenue Serenade uh, I had a few comments. It's like, what is that? What is that? And I keep forgetting to tell you what it is. But um, anyhow, I got rid of a Catlia Rex. I just, it just went to orchid heaven. Uh, I just thought it's just a waste of a space and waste of my time and energy to keep it if it's not growing at all. I'm hoping though that that wouldn't happen on my Catlia Berg's VZI. I found the roots, I thought it was going under, but instead it was actually, looks like a tip was eaten by something. Uh, I'm pretty uh, upset about that. But uh, hopefully the light would uh, promote more roots sometime soon. But uh, Catlia Amethyst Glossa though is okay. Um, the roots are doing fine, even though it looks dehydrated. Uh, I'm hoping to see better growth out of this one. I don't know. As long as the roots is okay, I hope uh, it could recover. And again, the roots pr uh, promotion is um, according to the uh, uh, good light too. So here's a newcomer here. Uh, here's a Catlia Maxima. Alba. I'm usually not too big of a fan of Alba, but uh, I had a Catlia Maxima. A Max Maxima Alba came from Rick. 
uh, part of a no space sale, but um, I mistakenly sent it to somebody who ordered uh, Wrinkle Alia Glauca. <laughs> Figure that one out. Um, anyway, uh, so she sent me telling me that it's <coughs> the wrong ID. She sent me a, a picture of the one she got and telling me, is it a Glauca? And then I looked at it, I'm like, of course not. How did I make a mistake? Well, so anyways, I should get to keep it. <laughs> it's my mistake. I sent her a gla Glauca though, so no worries. But then uh, uh, the, the picture she sent me was just gorgeous. And uh, Rick himself brought his piece of actual mother of the plant, uh, Maxima Alba, to the Mount Baker Orchid Society meeting. And oh boy, that was just gorgeous. Um, he thought I had it already, so he was giving that away to someone else. And uh, yeah, he was making a funny face at me when I said I accidentally got rid of it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, now I have it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. It was, it, it came this year, this year. I'm making a sort of mistake. Uh, it came this week with the unboxing and it came with a sheath. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, hopefully it would uh, produce spike for me. It looks like that would be a first, yeah, that would be a first bloomer. Uh, but pretty fortunate that it's gonna get to grow under spider farmer light. So anyhow, uh, I think that is it, unless you wanna see the three lovely new growth out of this uh, Lelia Lundia Solua. This is a division. Kind of cherish it and hoping to see the three spikes out of this guy too. So, anyways, thank you for watching and you guys have a good day. Bye.